Here are the top six settings you wanna change on your Samsung phone with One UI 7. One, revert the split notification shade. Don't love the new iPhone style separation of quick settings and notifications? You're not alone. Head to the quick settings panel, tap the pencil icon, choose panel settings and switch it back to together for the classic combined layout. Two, enable the vertical app drawer. If you have tons of apps, One UI 7 now lets you switch to a vertical scrolling app drawer. Just tap the three dot menu in the drawer and select the alphabetical order. It's faster, it's cleaner and it's easier to navigate. Three, supercharged customization with Good Lock. Good Lock got a huge upgrade. The Home Up module now lets you ditch grid layouts, add custom gestures, and tweak animation physics. It's not pre installed, but you can grab it from the Play Store and start building your perfect home screen. Four, try the new Now Bar on Lock screen. The Now Bar shows live info from apps like Google Maps, Media, and Clock right on the home screen or always on display. Enable it in Settings, Lock Screen, and AOD and now bar. Five, add mini lock screen widgets. Full screen widgets are gone, but mini lock screen widgets are always visible. Long press the lock screen, tap add widgets, and choose tools like battery, camera, or calendar. You can only add two, so choose wisely. Six, customize camera filters. One UI 7 brings powerful new camera filter settings. Adjust color temperature, contrast, grain, and more, or build your own filter from your favorite image. You can even set different filters for front and rear cameras. If your phone already has One UI 7, then let us know in the comments how you're getting on with it.